for all things Pelicans, you're now tuned into the Pelican Post Game Report, aka PPR Weekly. We in this thing, man. Shout out to you guys. I'm Big Q. Chime in with another episode of PPR Pelican Post Game Report Weekly as we cover in some topics from the Pelicans. We're going to also do some bigger streams coming down the line. But for right now, look what's going on. Now, we've had this to kind of circulate for a while that the Washington Wizards are interested in our guy, Mr. Trajan Langdon. And the Wizard GM search Clippers Michael Winger, Pelicans Trange and Langdon interview with uh, Ted Leonis, Washington Fire longtime executive Tommy Shepard at the end of the regular season. And they're looking for another guy. And Trange and Langdon are in there, cross sites, and he's interviewing there because he wants to be a real general manager. Washington have interviewed Los Angeles general manager Michael Winger for their vacant lead executive position. Adrian Wojnarowski reported late Wednesday that the this follows a report from the Athletics David Aldrich and Josh Robbins that the team has interviewed New Orleans Pelicans general manager Trajan Langdon. Both candidates met in person with the owner and the team search for a new head of basketball operations has been ownership led and Washington Wizards executive John Thompson III is one of its key advisors. Now, Washington Post's Ava Wallace reported early this month that Langdon and Milwaukee's assistant general manager, Milt Newton, had talked informally with the owner about the job. Now, Winger has spent the last seven seasons in his current role with the Clippers, working under team president Lawrence Frank. Before that, he spent seven years as Sam Presti's assistant general manager with OKC, and five years in Danny Ferry's office with the Cavs. Langdon has been with the Pelicans for the last four years, working under Executive Vice President David Griffin. Before that, he was an assistant GM manager of the Brooklyn Nets for the first three full seasons of the Sean Marks era. The Wizards fire longtime executive Tommy Shepard in, in April after finishing the regular season 35-47 and 47 record for the second year in a row. And Shepard had run the front office since Ernie Grunfield firing in 2019 and worked for the organization since Grunfield hired him as a vice president of basketball operations back in 03. Man, I've been there for a while. Washington has not finished with a 500 record since 2017-2018, but has not bottomed out either. It is unclear whether or not the Wizards' new front office, whoever is in charge, will be given the latitude to blow up the roster. Last summer, franchise player Bradley Bill signed a five-year, $251 million contract which includes no trade clause this summer for Stas Porzinkas and Kyle Kuzma can both hit free agency. So it's messy in Washington, man. But Mr. Langdon feels like, Hey man, I can fix that, man. I, I can, I can definitely do something with that, but this will be interesting because Trajan Langdon, man, has been more like a silent guy here, even though over the last year or so, he's been a lot more vocal, you know, with his, you know, in, in talking and coming out to the media, he's a phenomenal basketball mind. When David Griffin got out of his way and allowed these guys to make moves, I, I, I like Trajan Langdon a lot. It's a possibility, a real possibility we can lose him to Washington. It'd be interesting to see once that happened, who would be guys that the Pelicans would use in that position, because that would really kind of tell us a lot, man, about Trajan and Langdon. So with that being said, fam, they're going to get out on that, but I appreciate the family members for chiming in on this episode of PPR Weekly. Feel free to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the share button, and put it in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about Trajan Langdon. For the four years, it's been four years that he's been here. How do you like the job that he's done? And do you think that he gets the Washington job? And if he leaves, who do you think the Pelicans will reach to to replace him? All very important questions. So with that being said, I'm going to head out on that. Much love to the fam. Appreciate y'all. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, and I'm going to holler at y'all on the flip side. Peace and go Pals.